This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Bodyweight training is really about mastery of one's body. The scapula is at the core of this, and being able to properly understand how to use it is going to massively increase our ability to perform these movements. The six fundamental patterns of the scapula is first elevation. You can see this in a handstand. We've then got depression, something you might see at the top of a dip. We've got protraction, something I'm gonna see in the planche. We've got retraction at the top of a chin up. We've got upward elevation, pressing overhead, and then we've got downward elevation. It's all good understanding these concept movements, but it is absolutely essential that we understand how they feel. Creating a deeper awareness of what these positions mean is going to massively increase the quality of our compound movements like handstand push-ups, chin-ups, planche, front lever. Here's a couple of drills that you can use to figure it out. We can start this with some simple shoulder rolls. For this, we want arms by our sides. We want to find up, down, forwards and backwards. Start with just linear movements and then eventually try to connect them into a circular motion. You can go forwards and you can go backwards. The focus here should be really trying to pull the shoulder as far as you can in each of those different directions so we make the biggest circle we can. Focus on feeling the scapula or the shoulder blades really wrapping around the rib cage, trying to couple that elevation and retraction with inhale and that depression and protraction with exhale and really try to exaggerate that movement. If you want a bonus challenge, we can now try to do this with the arms in front, or if you want to challenge your flexibility, we can do this in an overhead position. Again, starting to find those four points and then creating circles in the shoulders. Now we've understood how to move the scapula, I've got three different exercises for you that's gonna help train it in all of these different positions. But one thing you don't need to understand is how to custom code your own website, when you can use today's sponsor, Squarespace, to build your own. They're best in class website templates, which you can customize with simple drag and drop features to create the right one that is perfect for you and your business, which you can start with their online store selling physical, digital, service related products. That's how I started my own business. Or you can generate money through members only content locked into their website. If you want to go and grab yourself a free trial, you can go to squarespace.com. And then when you're ready to go live and launch, you can use this link to save yourself 10% off your first registration. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. First of all, we have scapular pull-ups. This one is just the base for developing pulling strength in general, whether that be the chin-up or the front lever. We're gonna start hanging on the bar and we're gonna think first about depressing the shoulders, so trying to pull them as far away from the ears as we can. We're gonna retract them, pinch them back together, and then try to lift the sternum as high as you can. Work on performing reps so we just hold for two, three, or four seconds trying to lift that sternum as high as you can, gradually over time lifting it higher and higher until we end up eventually quite a lot further down the line as something that looks like a full front lever raise. The next exercise is usually the one that people struggle with understanding correctly and it holds them back from achieving moves like planche, press, handstand push-up and that is with a scapular roll-up. This is going to teach retraction, elevation and upward rotation but we probably want to break this movement down into the first stage we'll just be starting in a quadruped position on all fours and we're going to try and think about basically sliding the floor away from us as we slide the floor away we're going to feel those shoulder blades wrap around the rib cage and the working of our serratus anterior that kind of muscle right underneath the armpit once you understand this movement we can bring the hands by the knees integrating into the full scapula roll up and that's when we continue that pressing movement, lifting the hips overhead, upwardly rotating the scapula, and then finally elevating the shoulders. So the top should feel kind of like a handstand. Like the scapula pull up, we want to work eight to 10 reps. However, is a little bit more about going slow and steady and really feeling like you're pushing the ground away from you and lifting through the shoulders. Finally, we have the power raise. This is a weightlifting movement that helps us train the scapula in a little bit more of a novel way than we'd be able to with bodyweight exercises. It's one of those exercises that is extremely powerful, but not a whole lot of people know about or utilize. It's great at actually just being able to involve more movement in the scapula and really understanding that gliding movement of the shoulder blade moving around the rib cage. Starting with the dumbbell overhead, we want to lower in the eye line, feeling the weight pull the shoulder blade round into the bottom position. When we lift back up, we want to reverse this motion and think about the start of the movement coming from the shoulder blades retracting and pulling together and then the arm following. Like all of these movements, we want to make sure that the arm remains straight throughout 
And this is not about how much weight can you chuck on and lift. You will get a very effective workout with just a couple of kilos. There's no real right or wrong as to how you might go about using these movements. Really pick whatever's going to support your goals. If you want to get stronger at pulling, use the scapular pull-up. If you want to get stronger at pushing, use the scapular roll-up. And if you want to just express more flexibility and range of motion through the movement of the scapula, then give the power raise a go. It could be something you use as a warm-up or something you use for higher reps to condition. If you want some examples of how you can go about implementing this, then I will chuck some up on screen now. If you want to really focus on strengthening the scapula and building the foundation for those fundamental movements. But I'd love to hear how you get on with implementing this one, because as always, knowing is nice, but doing is better. Let me know in the comment section down below what you end up doing. If you enjoy this one, thumbs up button. The subscribe button down is down there as well if you don't want to miss out on any more future videos on this channel. Other than that, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a strong week. Peace.